Today we received an iPhone 12 mini which isn't receiving signal or connecting to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. When we go to the keypad and press star pound zero six pound, it does not produce the IMEI number. This means the problem lies within the motherboard. The backstory to this phone is that through a fit of rage, the phone was thrown onto the ground and hasn't worked since. First, we're going to remove the Wi-Fi antenna and then put the motherboard in the preheater to separate the two boards. We'll put some solder paste on top of the NAND and wait for it to melt. Once it's melted, we know the motherboard has reached the temperature necessary to start separating the layers. Now we'll put low temperature solder on the traces of the upper layer motherboard with the soldering iron to make it easier to clean them with the solder wick. We'll remove all of the solder and clean the area with alcohol. As you can see, there are a lot of missing traces, which is why there's no communication between the two motherboards, causing the signal, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth issues. This is going to be a long and complicated job, but not impossible for us here at Cell Phone Repair Academy. There will be many traces that need to be rebuilt. We'll put the multimeter in diode mode and then measure which of the missing traces are ground. In diode mode, ground traces give a reading of zero. Those that are ground do not need to be rebuilt. But if we receive a reading that's not ground like OL or see this one gives us 0.58, then we need to rebuild it because they are important lines. We use a surgical knife to cut the traces. We put alcohol on it and scrape the motherboard until we expose the line. Then we put solder on the line, grab the pre-cut trace and solder it. Now we repeat the same step with the remaining missing traces. So we only rebuilt traces with readings or also those with OL. In the end, we rebuilt over 20 traces. We repeat this process until all traces have been rebuilt. It's important to note that while doing this repair, we only scrape enough of the surface of the trace to expose the line. If we go far too deep, we can damage an underlining line which can cause greater issues and possibly make this repair unsuccessful. Now we're almost finished. As you can see, we didn't rebuild them all, just the traces that gave readings in diode mode. Now we're going to clean the bottom layer of the motherboard and remove everything. As you can see, there is the residue of the traces that came off. We clean it completely to make the area flat, and then we're going to follow this with reballing. We put the motherboard in the stencil, put solder paste, remove the residue, and then put this cover and start applying heat to create the solder balls while we hold it with tweezers. Take your cell phone repair skills to the next level with Cell Phone Repair Academy's advanced five-day micro-soldering training. Learn from industry experts and get certified in this essential technique. Visit us at CellPhoneRepairAcademy.com to learn more. After finishing, we put flux on the motherboard in the preheater at 200 degrees Celsius. We align the two motherboards, put solder paste and a coin on top. Since this motherboard was slightly bent, the coin will add a small amount of weight over the top layer of the motherboard and help it connect to the bottom layer. As you can see, the solder has melted, which means it's ready, so we turn off the preheater and wait for it to cool down. We assemble the phone, power it on, and go to the keypad. We input star pound zero six pound, and it does produce the IMEI. We check the settings, and the phone now produces the Wi-Fi connection, which means this was a successful repair. Thanks for tuning in.